Well, good morning and welcome to Children's Worship. We are going to begin with a mindful breathing. Just like the salmon in this creek, they line up together like this. First they rest and then they use their energy to return to their birthplace. So first, let's take some breaths and rest as if we were in a line trying to help each other out, make the journey easier. Breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out. Now let's breathe in and struggle like we're running up a stream. <laughs> breathing in and breathing out. <laughs> Try it again. Breathing in and struggling. <laughs> yeah. One more time. Let's breathe in and just be calm as if we are going to find our way home. Breathing in and breathing out. For our opening song, I'm going to invite you to sing with me, There is a Love. And this is about the great big love from church, which is our universalist love. It's a love that affirms each and every one of us just the way we are and all people and the hope that every person would be free. Mm -hmm. There is a love holding me there is a love holding all that I love. There is a love holding all. We rest in this love. Try it. There is a love holding me. There is a love holding all that I love. There is a love holding all. We rest in this love. Now we sing it for us. There is a love holding us. There is a love holding all that we love. There is a love holding all. We rest in this love. Hey everyone, my name is Jenna and I am the Rochester UU Young Adult Group Facilitator. Thank you so much for including me in today's worship service. As we light today's chalice, let's reflect on the importance of community and take comfort in the support we have surrounding all of us. <laughs> Life is a gift for which we are grateful. We gather in online community to celebrate the glories and mysteries of this great gift. So the part that we're going to learn today is the part after we spell out the word gift and we make that big. The part we're going to learn is when Allie goes like this. That means we cherish it. We cherish life as a gift. We're holding on to that precious thing. And then from there, we're grateful for it. So let's do it all together, as far as we know this week. So my question for you today is, what happened 250 years ago that we would be celebrating as Unitarian Universalists today? 250 years ago, that would be in 1770. And here's a clue. I'll let you talk to your parent or grandparent 
or sibling about that or think about it in your own heart. Put your guesses in the chat. I'd love to see them. Well, what happened 250 years ago was the first, the very first sermon about universalism was preached in America. Thomas Potter was sitting on his farm on the shores of New Jersey and he decided to build a chapel because he believed so much in this kind of big love. He believed so much that somebody would come, a minister would come and preach on universal love. And it happens in 1770. John Murray came across the ocean and he was so down on his life and his love. He had lost his family. He had lost his church because they didn't believe in that kind of big love. And when he came to Thomas Potter, Thomas Potter invited him to preach on Sunday if his boat was still stuck on this sandbar. And sure enough, it was. And so it was kind of like a UU miracle or you use serendipity moment and that's what happened 250 years ago today that kind of universalist love for all people that would hope for their freedom and their wholeness is still with us and you can hear it in this song I'm so excited because today is Greater Good Skit Day. We don't just have one story today in worship, we have three. And these are skits that families are doing to teach you about the different organizations in Rochester. There are three programs that you'll have to vote on in two weeks to be able to determine the winners of this year's Greater Good Project. What's the Greater Good Project? The Greater Good Project is where we as families take about half of what we would spend on holiday things like toys and games and travel and decorations, and we give half of that money to the church. The church takes all the money and pools it all together and then gives it to the two winners that you decide. Who decides? You. If you're kindergarten through 18, raise your hand because you will be able to vote in two weeks. So our first skit is from the Parent Leadership Training Institute. This is a group in Rochester that helps parents like yours to be able to be advocates for families and for kids. And so here's the symbol that you would have to choose on your ballot if you really feel like this is your top choice. What would it be like if you had a parent that was leading all kinds of change in the community and was going to all these meetings, but during these training meetings, you had to just be in childcare. Yeah, that might get old. In fact, you might be like, why can't I learn along with them? And here's the skit to teach you all about this program. Where are you going, Dad? Oh, I'm going to your school tonight. My school? Yep, the board is meeting. I hate when you're gone. I have to be with the babysitter. What are you going for this time? I'm going to advocate for more wraparound services uh, for kids that need more support at home to school, especially during this COVID time when kids may need some more counseling. There's a lot of kids that could probably use that kind of wrapping around. And we have another Zoom meeting again today. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of Zoom training for the Parent Leadership Training Institute I'm in. Believe me, I know how much we have going on right now. But this is really important. It means all kids get to thrive. I can already see the difference I'm making. The board listened to us parents last month and okayed more wraparound services. The training is really helping me have a voice. Well, I want to have a voice too. How come do you get to tell them? I'm a kid. 
That makes no sense. We have to sit with a babysitter while you advocate for us. How about we do it with you? I'm sure I have some good ideas about your wraparound services. Well, funny you should ask. They just started a kids a training program where you can learn to advocate for change that will help our community. No more babysitting for you. It's time to get involved. Even me? Even you. Around idea. I'm writing a letter to the city council. It says, I'm writing to you to ask if we could have a safe track plowed in the winter time that could wrap around the school and wind through the lots that aren't used anymore. And it would be a fun place to go and walk around and see friends and get exercise in the snow. I would even pull my little brother in the snow. I think he would like that. Love, Brooke. City council members, we need smaller class sizes. Please don't wrap up this meeting without figuring out how to make sure our school has enough teachers for us to learn well. Thank you to the Heslas. We'll just do one drumming after each family's done. So, I'm wondering what that story or that skit has to show us about that big love that we have as universalists. Hmm. If you vote for this one, you're voting for the chance for children and youth to be able to have the skills and training to be able to empower themselves and make change in their own communities. And that is big love because it honors each person's worth and dignity and capacity to contribute to community. Yeah. So our second project is City Roots Community Land Trust. And this is the picture you would have to choose if you want this as your top choice. City Roots is a group that rehabilitates or fixes up homes for people who don't have enough money to buy their own homes separately. And they work with a group called Project Phoenix that employs people and trains them in construction to work on the homes. So what would it be like for you if one of your parents had to keep changing jobs and you had to keep moving apartments and you never really have a sense of like putting your roots down? Well, City Roads Community Land Trust has put forth this project to hope that more families would be able to buy homes in Rochester and stay in them. Here they are. Mom, this is like our third apartment in two years. I'm so tired of moving. I can't find my stuff for today's lesson. Yeah, well, plus with COVID, being stuck in this tiny room and the heat doesn't even work, how, I mean, how am I supposed to meet anybody for real? Being online in a new school? Yeah, me too. Your dad's day temp job uh, just ended, and with the pandemic, where our savings is pretty low. Yeah, with the heat in here already, can't we turn it up even a little bit? What's all the happiness in here for? We're all just cranky, because, you know, we still got these boxes and trying to be in school and tired of moving and it's just cold well just so happens i got a hot solution just today oh yeah what is it you think you're gonna heat the place with that sweet vanilla candle no 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 way way better than that i'm going to be a phoenix come on dad quit playing me i mean i know you've had many kinds of old odd jobs but a bird here's the deal project phoenix will train me to be a carpenter with a good wage and not only that, Project Phoenix hooks up with City Roots. City Roots buys properties, splits the land from the house, then sells the house to folks like us with less saved up. So we can own a house, and then it also makes sure owners get lots of support for upkeep and maintenance. Oh, you mean we'd be able to own our own place, and have the support that we needed if things needed fixing up more, and you would have a good paying job? Yup. 
to move up from renting, and we'd be able to have some city roots. You totally lifted my spirits, Dad. <laughs> Me too. Life is sure looking up. Hey, come on, everybody. Let's take a selfie in front of our new house. Three, <laughs> yeah. two, one. Home sweet home. So much thanks for the Diorsos to put on that skit for us. What do you think it has to teach us, especially about big love that would be going out to this group if we gave the money to them? Hmm. Well, this group, if you vote for it, would be supporting families being able to own homes in Rochester. And that includes also being able to employ or give jobs to people to work on them, to train them in the career of construction. And that provides stability and families the chance to put down some roots and stay in the homes that they buy. Our third choice is called the Worker Justice Center of Central New York. And if you choose this one, this is the picture that you would mark on your ballot. The Worker Justice Center of Central New York has a program that they would like to begin for farm worker women called Divine Women or Mujeres Divinas. It is a program that helps build leadership in farm worker women so that they can have more freedom and choice about their life decisions and their life circumstances. So, what do you think it would be like for you if you were like a junior high youth and your mother was brought here from Mexico against her wishes and she's having to work like 12 hours a day out in the fields and you don't really have a sense of like your family situation changing because she herself feels beat down and she doesn't have a lot of choice in her life. Well, here's a program that has an answer. Mama, we have to get out of here. You work 12 hours a day in these fields and I heard you last night with Papa yelling at you and hitting you. Running away would be better. But where would we go, Elena? Uh, you heard what happened to Martina. She tried to leave and Border Patrol picked her up and deported her. I mean, just like that. You could, you could be deported and never see anyone else you know again. But you work so hard and you're always helping other women. Like last week when you helped Rose, her sister, when she was sick. And you helped Miguel with his grandmother's passing. I'm sure there must be lots of other jobs you could do other than picking apples and picking and picking. You're always picking something. Except picking to come here. I didn't choose this for you either. I was up at town today uh, getting medicine for my sister and the worker justice rep gave me this pamphlet. Take a look. Mujeres Divinas? Well, I know my mom is a divine woman because she is so full of faith and love despite everything. COVID, my dad being trapped on this awful farm. Yeah, my sister. She's going to do this. Mujeres Divinas is a program just for women to help them get power, to not be abused, to speak up, to advocate for themselves and us as migrant farm workers. My mom is strong, and this might just be the match she's looking for. Maybe she can help other women and herself. Maybe even make enough money to leave picking someday. Here they go, Rosa. Oh, I can't believe it. They're, they're telling their story to the city council about the farm worker justice bill. Um, could you believe that our two uh, relatives, my uh, sister and your mom, would be able to do this six months ago? I just can't believe it. I can believe it. It is a match made in heaven, all these divine women. Working in the fields, I earned $300 weekly before taxes. I'm left with $280, and out of that, I pay $30 for my weekly ride. 
and ten dollars for babysitting. There's nothing like medical insurance, and if you lose your scissors or basket, they discount them from your check. I don't actually know how much the scissors cost, because I never lost mine. There are some contractors who know how to treat their workers, and others who don't. That's when you change jobs, when you see how a contractor treats you. Some only need men in their crews, so we women have to look elsewhere for work. I would like those people that criticize illegal immigrants to come and see how hard we work. I think there can be changes. Thank you to the Gall Morgan family. So what would you think that you would be choosing if you chose this one in terms of that big heart of Unitarian Universalism and what we would be supporting? Hmm. Well, this would be supporting farm worker women to feel empowered, to feel like they have enough love, care, and attention, and leadership skills, and organizational skills, and training to be able to tell their stories, and to be able to make changes where they feel that they don't have choice. And so, if you wanted to vote for this one, here is the symbol. Thank you so much to our three families who did those skits. So just a quick review. The first choice is the Rochester Parent Leadership Training Institute, and that's a program for children and youth to be trained alongside their parents for advocacy and change. The second one is the City Roots Land Trust to enable people who may not have been able to buy a home before to be able to buy a home and to develop a career in carpentry. And the third one is the Worker Justice Center of Central New York, the Divine Women Program. And that program helps farm worker women to have more choice and to be able to organize so they are more free in their lives and their families. In closing today, don't forget to come to the Ghoulish Garden Walk on Halloween. That's this coming Saturday. And we remember we have memory tree coming up, so you'll need to fill out your leaves to bring to church as well. Great big love from church. And Victoria is going to help us sing our closing song, which is, of course, very much a universalist feeling song, which is This Little Light of Mine. Bye now. See you next time. Here she is. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. And I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Building up our world, I'm gonna let it shine. Building up our world, I'm gonna let it shine. Building up our world, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light.